Welcome to Rainbow Technologies Pole Setting Foam Hydrophobicity Demonstration Video. A hydrophobic foam means that this foam can be used in a damp or wet hole environment without changing the characteristics of the foam, such as density and compressive strength. In this video demonstration, we will be testing per ASTM D1621 compressive properties of rigid cellular plastics. According to this standard, 10% water by volume is used to test the hydrophobicity of the foam. The water must remain clear and totally reclaimed. During the editing of this video, some time-lapse photography has been applied to reduce the length of the video. The products used in this video are product P, which is a hydrophobic competitor, product B, which is a non-hydrophobic competitor, and Rainbow Technologies Pole Setting Foam, a hydrophobic foam. During the process of this video, we will be mixing small quantities of the three manufacturers in a dry environment and a wet environment. First for the Product P dry test. Product P is a hydrophobic foam. A 16 ounce clear plastic beaker will be used for the small quantity wet and dry testing. Each container is briefly shaken to release any sediment in the containers. Equal parts of part A and part B, approximately two ounces of each, are used in these tests and poured into a plastic cup for mixing. The foam solution is then mixed by stirring with a wooden stick. The mixing time is based on the temperature of the foam. As per this manufacturer's instructions, a mixing time of approximately 30 seconds was used based on 70 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. The solution is now poured into the 16 ounce beaker. The foam sample now begins to expand. After a time period of approximately two and a half to three minutes, the sample has fully expanded. Notice the symmetrical crown on the top of the beaker. Now for the product B dry test. Product B is a non-hydrophobic foam. Again, each container is briefly shaken to release any sediment in the container. Again, approximately two ounces of part A and part B are poured into the mixing cup. The sample is then stirred for approximately 30 seconds and poured into the 16 ounce beaker. After a time frame of approximately two and a half to three minutes, the sample has fully expanded. Also, a nice symmetrical crown is formed. Now for the Rainbow Technology dry test. Rainbow Technology is a hydrophobic foam. After briefly shaking each container, not shown in the video, approximately two ounces of part A and part B are poured into the mixing cup. After thoroughly mixing in the sample for approximately 30 seconds, the solution is poured into the 16 ounce beaker. After a time period of approximately 30 seconds, the sample has completely expanded a nice symmetrical crown has developed. Here we see the results of all three manufacturers dry tests. Notice the symmetrical crowns on all three samples. Now for the Product P wet test. Product P is a hydrophobic foam. The 16 ounce plastic beaker has been filled with approximately 1.6 ounces of water, which is 10% water by volume per ASTM D1621. Again, as in the dry testing, approximately two ounces of part A and part B are poured into the mixing cup. Also, as in the dry testing, the foam solution is mixed for approximately 30 seconds as per manufacturer's instructions. The mixture is now poured into the 10% water solution. Please notice as the foam solution is poured into the beaker, the foam begins to expand on top of the water. The water also remains clear. These are the characteristics of hydrophobic foam. After a time frame of two and a half to three minutes, the foam sample has completely expanded. Notice the foam is on top of the water and remains clear. Now for the product B wet test. Product B is a non-hydrophobic foam. The 16 ounce plastic beaker has been filled with approximately 1.6 ounces of water, 
which is 10% water by volume, per ASTM D1621. Again, as in the dry testing, approximately 2 ounces of Part A and Part B are poured into the mixing cup. Also as in the dry testing, the foam solution is mixed for approximately 30 seconds as per manufacturer's instructions. The mixture is now poured into the 10% water solution. Notice as the foam sample is poured into the beaker, the foam begins to expand on top of the water, but the water becomes very cloudy. Also notice that the sample has overexpanded. This is not a characteristic of a hydrophobic foam. The water has caused this overexpansion. Notice the water is very cloudy and the water level has diminished. As you will see later in this video, the characteristics of the foam have changed as well. Now for the Rainbow Technology wet test. Rainbow Technology is a hydrophobic foam. The 16 ounce plastic beaker has been filled with approximately 1.6 ounces of water, which is 10% water by volume, per ASTM D1621. Again, as in the dry testing, approximately 2 ounces of Part A and Part B are poured into the mixing cup. Also, as in the dry testing, the foam solution is mixed for approximately 30 seconds as per manufacturer's instructions. The mixture is now poured into the 10% water solution. Please notice as the foam solution is poured into the beaker, the foam begins to expand on top of the water. The water also remains clear. These are the characteristics of a hydrophobic foam. After a time frame of two and a half to three minutes, the foam sample has completely expanded. Notice the foam is on top of the water and the water remains clear. In this scene, you will be able to compare the dry and wet samples of all three manufacturers. Notice that the product P hydrophobic samples are uniform, and in the wet sample, the foam is on top of the water, and that the water is still clear. The product B non-hydrophobic sample has expanded on top of the water, but the water is very cloudy, and the foam has greatly overexpanded. The Rainbow Technology hydrophobic samples are uniform, and in the wet sample, the foam has expanded on top of the water, and the water has remained clear. Part of the ASTM D1621 standard states that all the water in a wet test will be reclaimed. In this scene, we will be reclaiming the water from the product P hydrophobic sample. A vent hole and a drain hole are drilled into the bottom of the beaker. Notice all the water is reclaimed and the water remains clear other than some plastic shavings. Now for product B, non-hydrophobic sample. After the drilling process, nearly all the water was reclaimed, but the water affected the finished product. As you see with the Rainbow Technology hydrophobic sample, all the water was reclaimed and the water sample was clear, other than the plastic shavings. This meets the criteria of the ASTM D1621 standard. Now let's take a look at the finished wet samples. All samples were allowed to cure for approximately 3 hours. All three manufacturers products totally cure in 12 hours. At the 3 hour curing time, these foams should be at 80% of their total cured strength. With using a hammer, the plastic beaker is broken and torn away from the finished product P wet sample. The sample is then cut away to expose an approximate 1 inch cube from the center of the sample as per ASTM D1621 standard. Notice the cell structure is closed and the compression is firm. According to Product P manufacturer's technical data, this foam has 4 to 5 pounds per cubic foot density. Now for the Product B non-hydrophobic wet sample. After the beaker was broken away and a 1 inch cube from the center of the sample was obtained, you will notice that the sample is compressed very easily. Not much strength here. Also the surrounding area is very spongy although the outside of the sample seemed firm. 
This product has a density of 3.5 to 4 pounds per cubic foot. Now for the Rainbow Technology Hydrophobic Wet Sample. After the beaker was broken away and a 1 inch cube from the center of the sample was obtained, you will notice that the sample is very dense and has good compressive strength. According to Rainbow Technology's technical data, this foam has a 5.5 to 6 pounds per cubic foot density. In other words, Rainbow's foam is stronger than the competitor's foam. Let's take a look at the wet test with a larger quantity. In this scene, we have Product P's 1 cubic foot kit. The container is approximately 1 cubic foot in capacity. We also have filled the container with 10% water. The Product P hydrophobic kit comes with Part A and Part B, a plastic bag that includes a pair of disposable gloves, a wooden stir stick, and a paint paddle that can be used in a cordless drill. By following the instructions, we have poured the smaller lip jug into the larger lip jug and will be using the paint paddle with a cordless drill. The foam solution was mixed with the paint paddle for approximately 30 seconds as per instruction based on the temperature of the foam. After the foam was thoroughly mixed, the solution was poured into the container with 10% water added. After a time frame of two and a half to three minutes, the foam fully expanded. But look how the foam began to crack and separate at the end of the expansion time. Also note that the water in the bottom of the container is intact and clear. As we look closer, the finished product has totally separated. Now for the Rainbow Technology wet test. This is Rainbow Technology's product number 79701 one cubic foot kit. The container is approximately one cubic foot in capacity and 10% water has been added. This one cubic foot kit comes with part A and part B, disposable gloves, and instructions. To mix this hydrophobic foam, simply pour the contents of the smaller jug into the larger jug. Do not replace the lid. This foam is designed to be shaken, not stirred. Place a glove-covered hand over the opening of the jug to seal and shake. After a period of approximately 30 seconds, per instructions, you will notice a slight amount of pressure building up in the jug. Relieve this pressure by venting the jug and then pour. Notice how the foam pours through the water and begins to expand on top of the water. After a time period of approximately two and a half to three minutes, the foam has fully expanded. Notice how the foam has a symmetrical crown on the top. The water has remained in the bottom and is clear. A true test of a hydrophobic foam. Now for product B, non-hydrophobic foam. The kit you see here is a 2.5 cubic foot foam kit. The kit includes part A and part B. You use the box the product comes in to mix. A pair of disposable gloves, a wooden stir stick, and a paint paddle. The container used in this test is approximately three cubic feet with 10% water added. Per instructions, pour part B into the cardboard box. Now pour part A into the box. Using the paint paddle and the cordless drill, the foam was mixed for approximately 30 seconds per instructions and then poured into the container. Pouring from the box could be quite difficult pouring into a hole with a pole present. Notice how the foam pours through the water and immediately becomes cloudy. Also notice as the foam expands, the foam overexpands the size of the container and the foam separates causing multiple voids in the foam. The foam overexpanded by at least 25%. Remember, this was a 2.5 cubic foot kit being poured into a 3 cubic foot container. When this foam is exposed to the water or damp conditions, it causes this overexpansion. This causes the finished product to be less dense and have less compressive strength. Notice that the water in the bottom of the container is cloudy 
and there is a void present. Where did the water go? Here we see an overview of the large quantity wet test. Let's take a look at the finished large quantity wet test samples. Each sample was allowed to cure for approximately three hours. After this time frame, the sample should be at approximately 80% of their total cure strength. We will be dissecting each sample by removing the top layer of exposed foam. By using a saw, we remove the exposed layer of foam from product P hydrophobic foam. You will notice the exposed layer was cracked and separated. The exposed layer has a large void in the foam and the compressive strength is semi-soft. Upon further review, notice the water in the bottom of the container is still intact and is clear. Now let's look at Rainbow Technologies hydrophobic foam. Again, by using a saw, the top layer of exposed foam was removed. After the exposed layer was removed, you can see that the cell structure is very dense and the compressive strength is very firm. Remember, Rainbow Technologies foam has 5.5 to 6 pound per cubic foot of density. The strongest pulse setting foam produced. Also note that the water in the bottom of the container has no voids and the water is clear. And now the product B non-hydrophobic foam. First, notice that the foam did not even adhere to the container. Notice there is no uniformity in the exposed foam. It is cracked and separated. Using the saw to remove the top layer of the exposed foam, you will notice a very open cell structure with voids and no compressive strength. The demonstrator's finger can easily push through the foam. Upon further review, you will notice that a handful of foam can be easily obtained. Although this sample has a firm appearance on the top of the foam, the inside is soft, spongy, and with hardly any compressive strength. Is this what you want holding your poles in a wet or damp environment? In conclusion, Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam has the highest density and a stronger compressive strength than the competitors. Remember to always use the right tool for the right job. Thank you for choosing Rainbow Technologies pole setting foam. If you have any questions on the applications or about the products, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-637-6047 or you can visit our website www.rainbowtech.net Thank you and have a great day.